trying to figure out how much direct labor we need to have on hand in order to meet those production needs. And then how much of that direct labor is going to cost us? And then the cash side I made really simple. You just pre old schedule about then how the cash goes out the door. Because then it's going to flow through your mission for our cash budget. So what is our role in labor? Factory direct labor costs are based on standardized hours of labor needed to produce the units in the production budget. Going back to our other chapter on uh, variances, we had the standards. It was 0.25 hours per batch of cookies at a rate of $8 per hour. So if we go back to our production budget, we know we need to produce 10,400 batches of cookies during January. So if we're going to produce 10,400 batches of cookies, we need to have enough light direct labor on hand to make that much. Standard hours, it's 0.25 hours per batch of cookies. That means we'll need to have 2,600 hours of direct labor. Direct labor is fairly straightforward, unlike the purchases. You can't store direct labor, so you're not going to have ending inventory, beginning inventory. What you need during the month is exactly what you're going to be using. So the average, uh, so we're going to be using 2,600 hours, eight dollars per hour, means our direct labor cost will be 20,800. Probably straight forward. Not too difficult there. Once you have your production budget, you just figure out how many direct labor hours you need and then what you pay per hour using that standard information we've already become familiar with. Right. So, be able to do February no problem. So if we need 11,400 batches of cookies made during February, if it takes 0.25 hours to make a batch of cookies, then we need 2,850 direct labor hours. At eight dollars an hour, direct labor should cost us 22,800 during the month of February. Straightforward. Um, to keep things simple, yes, it's usually more complicated than this. And actually, how you pay people, you know that if you get a job, you you, know, you don't get paid on. Uh, so if you get paid, you know, hourly, but you get paid on the 15th and 30th of the month. Well, you're not getting paid for up to that point in the 30th. It's always a, a week in arrears. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to say, hey, we're paying the direct labor as it's incurred. So our direct labor cash payment schedule, if we have direct labor costs of $20,800, we're going to pay cash of $20,800 during January. That's what it means by is paid as incurred. So February, 22800 Not too difficult, not one you can get down.